So I'll plug this in and fire it up. Now that's the power beep. That was not an alarm. Let's take a look at this power supply. So the first thing that we notice with Thermaltake power supply is that everything is consistent. You notice that none of the numbers are moving around. Everything looks good. 3.3 volts is pumping exactly 3.3 volts consistently. The 5 volt channel is pumping 5.1 volts, which is certainly within the 0.2 threshold. And nothing is fluctuating. So you can see that everything is consistent. Uh, nothing's moving around the screen and there's certainly no alarms going off. Now just to explain what the PG value on the power supply tester means, um, you remember when we were testing the 300 watt power supply, we were seeing in the 900s and that was setting off an alarm. And here we've got a nice little value of 370 and no alarm. What the PG value means is that your power supply is set to only turn on the computer when there's clean power being driven from the power supply. So this power supply, within 370 milliseconds, is going to be able to get up to power and start generating clean power within that amount of time. And then, not until then, your power supply is going to automatically, using the PG value, uh, send a signal to the computer to fire it up. So that's why with a higher end power supply, sometimes you push the power button and then it seems to take a split second before it fires up. Where with a low end power supply, it's going to just turn on right away. And the problem with that is that your power supply basically generates the power. So it takes a moment for those capacitors and transformers within there to be able to create the clean power. So if the power supply allows the computer to come on immediately, uh, then that's going to be also driving that dirty power into your computer system. So the ther thermal take power supply with the clean PG value is showing us that it is able to wait to fire up the system until it is generating clean power. Let's take a look at the 550 watt uh, thermal take power supply here. Stepping up a notch. And basically the reason that you want to go with higher wattage is if you've got several components within your PC. A lot of times it uh, has to do with gamers. It doesn't always. Uh, but certainly a gaming system is going to see uh, video cards, etc. that are going to be drawing a lot more power than the standard uh, onboard video. So in those cases, um, you usually want to step up your, uh, your power supply because it's going to be drawing so much more power, you want to be able to provide clean power. So if you've just got a generic computer system, you're fine with the 430 watt power supply. But if you want to step it up a little bit and get a little more uh, wattage out of your system, this is the way to do it. So I'm going to plug in again all 24 pins, uh, plus my 4 pin uh, 12 volt as well, and I'm going to fire this one up. So we can see once again that the Thermaltake power supply is providing us with clean power. Again, no numbers are fluctuating, everything's within uh, an allowable threshold, and our PG value is absolutely perfect. Another great thing about Thermaltake power supplies is they're extremely quiet. Now this power supply is on right now, and I can feel the wind coming off of this ginormous fan. And uh, you can tell, there's just no noise coming off of that. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at the Thermaltake Tough Power power supply. This is the 850 watt model, and this is just the dream machine, the Cadillac, if you will. You can just tell from the weight of it and from the solid construction that this is just a really nice high-end power supply. It's got an enormous fan on it, and we're going to see again that this is a very quiet uh, unit. Uh, but one of the things that I love about the Tough Power 850 uh, with the cord management, the cable management system, is that the cables, you'll notice that there's very, very few cables actually coming out of the power supply. And that's because it's got an actual bay where we can swap out different cables. So if you only need a certain number of cables, you don't have to have a ton of cables all wound up in your computer because if you're not using it, you can just unplug it and you know put it in a drawer somewhere so that you don't lose it. That's one of the things about some of these power supplies that are coming out is that because there's so many different peripherals with so many different types of connectors these days, you know we've got PCI Express, we've got the old style four pin, we've got the uh, the SATA cable. So you get these power supplies that have all these different cables coming up because everybody needs all these different types of connectors. Well, this is a brilliant idea, being able to just put in the ones that you need and unplug the ones that you don't. Boy, oh boy, that's quiet. And look at that. Look at those numbers. Absolutely no variances within the voltage. We've got a perfect PG value and everything's within the thresholds. We've got a perfect 3.3 volts and everything looks great. So just recapping what we've learned today, generic power supplies, eh -eh, we're not going to go there. All right. If you get a computer that has one of these in it, 
Uh, just look at the back of your chassis, you can tell that it's just cheap and flimsy and no name, and uh, we want to just stay away from it. We saw it, and that's not that's not a brand name thing, That's not uh, we're not trying to sell brand on you, but uh, we saw from the test there what kind of dirty power we can expect from one of these units. You know, it, well, of course, if somebody tries to sell you one of those as well, you want to watch out for that. If you have a bad power supply in your computer and your computer tech is trying to sell you a generic power supply, say, you know what, I want a thermal take. Can you put a thermal take in there for me? Why am I saying thermal take when I said I'm not going to try to sell you on brands? Well, the simple fact is that I've been using Thermaltake for a couple of uh, couple of years now in my own system. I could not believe the increase in performance for my system because I found out that I had a dirty power supply. I was using a higher end generic power supply in my computer system at that time. And since I switched to Thermaltake, and since our company switched to Thermaltake, here's the thing. We haven't had a single computer come back with power supply related issues. Now, that's not to say that the thermal take power supply will not fail, because that's just not logical to say. Every component can fail. But what I've seen consistently through my own experience in business is that the thermal take power supplies are a lot more reliable. Again, we haven't seen one come back yet. And as we've seen from the test here, using uh, three different uh, levels of thermal take power supplies, each one of these have tested perfect. Even looking at the uh, Pure Power 430, which we would consider an entry level power supply, you put that in your computer system, you're going to increase performance. You're not going to be spending a whole lot of money uh, because it is just the entry level. But because Thermaltake has all these different tiers of power supplies, we can step it up a notch into the gaming level. We can step it right up into the tough power level, which is great for servers and for uh, higher end PCs. Uh, but because there's so many tiers, we can find something within our price point that's still going to be giving us increased performance from a thermal take power supply. We're going to be getting that clean power to our system and we're going to be preventing damage. Uh, so I do hope that the next time you check out a power supply, next time you buy a power supply or want to increase the uh, performance of your PC, make sure you check out Thermaltake's line of power supplies. For Category 5 Technology TV, I'm Robbie Ferguson.